So Super Mario is uh, this really crazy rock feature that we found in this gully. So it's an old riverbed, and at some point, you know, probably big spring runoffs really kind of shaped this piece of terrain in this riverbed and left these weird boulders and spires of rock. Finding the Super Mario feature was a bit of a spirit quest. One day, it just grabbed Shin and it was like, man, you and me, we're, we're gonna go into the forest. And we just started hiking out into no man's land. He uh, came back to us and he's like, I found like one of the raddest features I've ever seen in my life. He's a pretty one, man. It didn't look like it was gonna work. It just seemed like the amount of snow that it was gonna take and what he had to do, his margin of error was so slim. Travis like coming from super high up and gapping onto a boulder and then falling away the other side. We brought this big, cumbersome, expensive drone all the way over to Japan. And there's a lot of things that we were shooting over there that it was not relevant to bring the drone out. It was problematic. And the fact that Super Mario was a real kind of flat feature, and there was a hallway, you know, that a drone could do a flight through. Um, that's when we discussed, is it droneable? And, you know, after talking about it, it was like, yeah, you know what? If there's ever a time to try to bring the drone out and do this, like, this is probably it. The drone actually is the only way to fully capture this feature because the uh, landing angle and the drop-in angle can't see it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, boys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, guys. You guys nailed that shot.